According to InStyle magazine, hesitating is described as feeling indifferent about dating, unsure if you want to date seriously, or casually because life in general is so uncertain right now and is rapidly becoming a trend. Mm -hmm. Hesitating. Yeah. Hesitating. So in this morning's He Said, She Said, we discuss some of the telltale signs you might be dating a hesitator. Yeah, it, it, it is more like we said. She said. said. <laughs> and, and if you're dating a hesitator, you're really not you're, dating. Right? <laughs> so they said the signs that you're dating a hesitator. They shy away from vulnerability. So Molly Godfrey, who's a trained dating and intimacy, intimacy coach in New York City, recommends throwing out a small test, reveal something vulnerable or personal. So they say if the other person is receptive, open, and kind, you're likely someone with the capacity for intimacy and has emotional depth, she notes. If the person is defensive or shies away from vulnerability, they may not be totally emotionally available. Whatever to you, uh, to you, that right. does mean a while ago. <laughs> yeah, so, 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 so feel them out. Drop something that, that's vulnerable about you and see if they will also share something. But if you drop something and them say, oh, that nice, thanks for yeah. telling me. So if I say I'm a shy person. And they're like, oh, never. That's yeah. so cute. Yeah. How about you, what is it? I say, never. You know, I'm shy too. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Does that make me a hesitator or no? <laughs> no, but I mean, something about yourself that, you know, you, it would require a level of trust in someone to mm -hmm. share. Now yeah. make it too much though, okay? You don't know yet. Right. And then if they if they say, you know, you know, never I really appreciate you share that with me, um, in my instance, and then them share with you, say, all right, we are, we are connect. But if you share and them say, yeah, <laughs> nice to hear that man. <laughs> yeah, just cross them like yeah, that. I'm mm, glad you tell right. me. We're not, we're not connect. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Definitely not. We're not connected. <laughs> What's the next one? They're not all that engaged. If a potential partner seems less interested, they're slow to respond to text or cancel plans at the last minute. Yeah, me not have that hesitating. That's just not yet. No idea that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if they, no, if they're not engaged, it really not go nowhere. Mm -mm. It's, it, mm -mm. You wanna send text? You want? You wanna? <laughs> one sided. <laughs> it's they, crazy. No, it's real. The phone work both ways. Yes. Like it can make call and it can receive call. It can send text and yes. it can receive text. Yeah. So why not just? And every time you not go out, you dress up. You're ready for go and then yeah. you said never wait there. I said, oh gosh, mm. <laughs> you didn't buy your clothes? <laughs> <laughs> What's number three? On the flip side, they might have too many questions, expectations, or be overly particular. Sometimes it feels as if uh, some people are searching for reasons most any match won't work. Mm. Um, notes Julian McGowan, relationship manager at a global matchmaking firm, Kelleher International. She says this is often a sign that they're not truly open to a relationship due to unresolved and unconscious issues which are manifesting as avoidance in this case. Yeah, yeah. 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 Self-destructing the relationship. So we have be. unconscious issues. In other words, we don't know that we have these issues and we just... Yeah, so project them. them. So mm -hmm. if we don't know, oh, we don't know, so we have them. If because you keep on a project them. <laughs> no, but you don't know, but for I mean, real I said, Neville, you know, say, you know, do you know that every time so you do that though? And you say, yeah. I'm yeah. saying never realize. So Neville, you know, you always walk on my parents' house, but every time I say to you, say, you go by your parents, you say, yeah, my meaning can come back. No, oh, so. <laughs> meaning can come back. So, so there's an issue with moving the relationship to another level because you can't meet the parents. But people have genuine trust issues, though. Mm. And, and I think that this is part of where it manifests itself. Yeah. Like, people are like, okay, why you always are sending me so much text message? Or why I try hide? You know, like, like mm. yep. you want the attention or you don't want the attention? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the next one says you feel a shift in the energy they're putting into your interactions. Oh, no. So when a match goes from seeming very happy and excited to talk or hang out to communicating in a manner that feels dry, short, and uninterested, there's a good chance they're hesitating. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm. Yeah. Hold on, man. When I'm in, in a manner that feels dry, mm -hmm. short, and uninterested, mm -hmm. There's a good yeah. chance they're hesitating. So they're into you one time, and mm -hmm. then no, they're not into you anymore. But yeah. that is not hesitating. That I just, me know one of them you. You don't know why they're not hesitating, you know? Me just know one of them amongst you. You just said, Daily, how oh, 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 was your work? How was today? Yeah. And then yeah. I said, Neville, you know what my work today is? I said, 
All right. Mm. <laughs> they avoid answering heavier hitting questions. Mm. So questions like, and listen, people don't want to ask these questions when they know the answers, you know? Avoid, when you ask, what do you want in a relationship? Where do you see this going? It's challenging, full stop, but the pandemic encouraged singles to focus more on emotional intimacy, says McLean. So in turn, these hard conversations have become less taboo, even the early stages of a relationship. But if your match is avoiding these dialogues, yeah. what are you looking for in this relationship? Why are you asking me that now? Or why are you asking me that All right, now? Let me say, what do you mean when you ask me that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe I don't get, I, maybe I don't get this hesitating stuff because mm. them thing I don't sound like hesitating to me. It just sound like not really, dating now. Yeah, right? I mean, so, no, I'm not into you. <laughs> but, <laughs> and I don't want to date you. It's not hesitating. <laughs> hesitating, in, in my opinion, would be I'm not so certain. Mm. If I must, you know, but so many things we have read are certain. I don't want to date you first, so, you know? Yeah, but sometimes people have a difficulty answering some of these very difficult questions. You mm. know, these challenging questions, I should say. You know, what do you want in a relationship? All right, you're supposed to know all of that, you know. But then, remember, when you're dating now, you really kind of do a good PR job. You're supposed to be doing yeah. the best PR job for yourself. But what ends up happening? Um, you don't want to say the wrong things, you don't want to express yourself you're because of a fear that if you truly express yourself, then the person will be like, mm. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not certain that you always know what you want in a relationship. You meet somebody, I say, daily, I'm going to go eat some food and stuff. I'm not certain if I say, I say, yeah, man, I want to marry you or I don't want to I don't know if I, if no, I man, would know that right up front. I mean, oh. I kind of want to see what I go on. Feel then, it all. Yeah, and then I yeah. can say, oh, she's a nice person, you know? Mm. But I, I wouldn't know that until... We'll nope. go around a little bit. <laughs> oh, well, true, true. But not specifically her, but you must, you must have a clue about what you really want. You know what I mean? Like, okay, you want somebody who's caring, attentive, mm. honest. No, know. no, I know that. I know kind of what I want. Right. Uh, you know, I, yeah. I know who, I know what I would want from Generally. Some, yeah, right. I don't know necessarily what I want from yeah. specifically. Yeah. Right. And I think that's the key to saying hesitating is, is it's not that you don't want the relationship, but yeah. you're kind of have a reason why you're pulling back. Maybe you're feeling it out. Right, yeah. Maybe maybe you enjoy the person's company yep. and, and they want to go to a level that you're not really ready for reach yep. yet. Or you, know? you say something in a like group chat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Why's the last one? <laughs> you know, or you reach they, group chat. They <laughs> flake at the last minute. If you have plans and then they cancel at the 11th hour, they're likely hesitating, says Logan Yuri, the director of relationship science at Hinge. Yeah. Um, yeah. Respect yeah. people time. Respect yeah. people. Time. Yeah, <laughs> but but hesitating may not be a bad thing. Yep. Right. It may be that the person. So this says stop from a place of honesty, though. You can say to them, you know, God, I feel like you're hesitating. Yeah, everything all right? And then mm -hmm. they can say, well, you know, yeah. be honest. Be yeah. honest. It, it will work. All right. So that's it for we said. <laughs> she said. She said. <laughs>